you can get paid for your internship, your field experience, your practicum. I got paid with zero experience, zero background in social work. You can too, let me show you how. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and today I'm giving some real tangible advice. I am sitting by the computer because I'm gonna show you exactly how you can search for the internship that I had, which was great experience, especially if you're wanting to be a school social worker, start in the elementaries, but we're gonna show you how to get paid for it in just a second. I first wanna share that internships are not created equal. As far as I know, there are two types of internships that you can get paid. One I did, and I'm gonna walk you through the steps in just a second on how to find those types of internships. That's through AmeriCorps. And both of these options, honestly, will step you beautifully into a career in school social work if that is what you're wanting to do. And I assume since you're here watching along on Social Work Scrapbook, that might be one of the fields that you're trying to get into is school social work. I have so many vlogs here that you can check out. I will link a playlist up above so that you can check that out next. Okay, getting into the CPS stipend. A CPS stipend is an agreement that you have with CPS, Child Protective Services. It may be called something different in your state, but the agreement basically is that in exchange for your tuition being paid off in full, CPS or Child Protective Services is requiring you to work two, maybe sometimes more years after you receive your diploma, your degree, your master's in social work. I attended the University of Texas at Austin and I went straight to their website to show this collaboration as well. And they have a video you can watch that's very helpful. Uh, there's one of two ways you can participate in the program. The first one is as a student um, working or interning at CPS. Um, and then alternatively as a employee of CPS. I seriously myself considered going into grad school with a CPS agreement and stipend, but I honestly was a little bit afraid of getting jaded. So early on in my social work career, I had heard scary stories around CPS, Child Protective Services, and how it can really burn you out. But I don't want you to shy away from the stigma that scared me. I, I could have gotten my grad school all paid off. So I really wanna share two videos that might help you see this differently. There are so many great social workers in the field of child protective services and I want to share two videos down below. I did two interviews with two separate CPS social workers. One is now a school-based therapist and the other one is just climbed the ranks in her CPS field. So check out those two videos down below. They are lights and resources. They share a bunch on social media as well. I want to share their um, Instagram handles right here. The reason why I say this would work really great if you are wanting to be a school social worker in the future is because any experience with Child Protective Services looks really great on a resume. To get a little bit of a peek into the questions or how to respond for an interview, I'm gonna link a few videos down below. One is just a general video that I recommend to everyone and many of you have used it and have gotten hired as school social workers and beyond. So I love getting your messages like that. If you've used it before, please let me know in the comments below. I love hearing that this community of social workers is growing and growing due to this video, kind of giving you the confidence to get in front of that interview panel and just rock it. And if you're kind of wondering what an interview for a school social worker looks like, I am going to link a video up above as well and down below that you can check out for yourself. So now the AmeriCorps way. I'm right here by my desk right now because I'm going to show you a job listing that I've already found. This was actually my very first internship and I do want to preface that I did not have to give any years after graduation towards AmeriCorps or the Peace Corps or do anything. This was just for the period of time that I was in my internship. Let's dive in and let me show you how to find this particular internship. This is through AmeriCorps. And when you go straight to the website, you will see this kind of interest prompt. I would type in my name and my email here and check the box for education because that's the project type that you are going to be interested in exploring more of. Under the state, go ahead and check the state that you would like to serve in or complete your internship in and then you can do the rest. 
There's another way to find these internships, particularly the one that I had as my first internship, and I'll show you that way as well. But essentially what you're looking for here is AmeriCorps at the state and national level. And so here you can see a whole bunch of different opportunities. You don't have to necessarily do your internship within a school. There are so many other areas to explore. I went to school at the University of Texas at Austin. So that's why I have it located as Central Texas, and this was for a mentor full time. And here you can check out what my responsibilities were, and this is basically providing mentorship to elementary students. You can also work within a middle school, but this was after school care through communities and schools. And since this was my internship site as well, I was awarded this education award. If you check out the summary to the side, you can see that the educational level needed is just a high school diploma or GED. So some of the other AmeriCorps members I was working alongside in this role were not even enrolled in a grad school or even an internship at all. They were simply getting on the job training here in the school, which is so, so needed if you're wanting to go into school so short. Then you just click apply now and you follow the prompts as necessary. Here's another way to go ahead and find these particular internship sites, and that is going straight to the website for communities in schools. Here you can see everywhere in Texas that CIS is located. So I, again, was in Austin. That's why I'm kind of zoned for that area. But CIS is nationwide. I would just type in my zip code here and see if it qualifies for the AmeriCorps Educational Award. And that's how I got paid for being an intern, again, with zero experience in social work, zero experience working in general. That was my very first job other than work study. And it was an amazing experience. So I hope that this is something that helps you in locating the perfect internship for you. I do wanna leave you with another video I made years ago, and this was kind of how to start a side hustle, how to pay for grad school. I know there's a lot of different fees that start piling up, so I wanna link that video next so you can check it out. Until next time, I'm wishing you social work success. Bye guys.